So in this slide, we're going to discuss what not to do when bullied. So in the previous slide, we discussed what to do if you are being bullied. And in this one, we're going to discuss what not to do. So it's the opposite. Number one, uh, think it's your fault. You need to understand that it is never your fault. It's the bully's fault. You have no fault in it. You don't deserve to be bullied. So make sure you never let anyone make you feel that way or you think about that yourself. And you should never think about that about yourself. Number two, fight back or bully a person back. Uh, so just because someone is bullying you doesn't mean that you should bully someone else or bully the same person back. Uh, just because someone is doing something wrong to you, that does not justify you doing something wrong to someone else or to the bully. Um, now, fight back. Uh, so sometimes we, a lot of times we hear from uh, some commentators or some critics, that, well, you know what, uh, if, so, if somebody's bullying you, then hit them back or, you know, hit them or hurt them first, let them know who's boss and things. This is not good advice to give to kids. And in many cases, victims of bullying do not have this option. Either the bully has a lot of backup or he is or she is physically stronger than the victim, um, generally speaking. So if he or she were to fight back, they could get severely hurt uh, or even the, or the bully might get even more aggressive or his friends might jump in and hurt the victim even more. So this is not good advice to give to kids. Now I want to clarify something. No one uh, debates that if somebody is being physically harmed and he or she fights back and in the process uh, the bully gets hurt that they have the right to self-defense but the, but what we need to understand is that for most victims of bullying this is not even on the table this option is not on the table they cannot fight back so every time you hear anti-bullying workshops talking about fighting back they're talking about what we discussed in the previous slide uh, about talking, getting an adult involved, reporting the bully, reporting the bullying to a, a, to a trusted adult, uh, getting help, avoiding the bully, things like that. Um, number three, keep it, keep it to yourself and just hope the bullying will go away. Okay, look, it's never going to go away until and unless you get help and stop the bullying it will not go away. It will continue to happen. So you have to make sure that you report the bullying. Number four, skip the skip school or avoid school or after school activities because you're afraid of the bully. No bully should have this much control or power over your life where it's actually impacting your school life. It should never get to this level. Number five, don't be afraid to tell. Telling is not tattling. It's the right thing to do. So a lot of bullies will say, well, if you're going to if you tell someone you're going to be a tattletaler, we need to understand there's a difference between telling something and tell, tattling on someone. Tattling means your intention is to get the person in trouble. That's tattling, okay? At whatever cost, you want to get the person in trouble. That's tattling. Telling is just relaying information. So telling someone about being bullied is a good thing. That is not tattling. So do not let... Uh, either people or bullies tell you that tattling that is that you reporting the bullying is a form of tattling it is not it's telling and the only reason the bully is doing that or saying that to you is to protect him or herself so they can continue the abusive and aggressive behavior so you have to stand up for yourself by getting someone involved and the last one I have here is hurt yourself it should never ever get to this point where you're actually hurting yourself no person should have that much control and power over your life where you're actually hurting yourself and in many rare cases committing suicide or having thoughts of suicide um, so that it should never reach that level so just remember you should never hurt yourself it is not your fault it is the bully's fault and you have to stand up for yourself and get someone involved and get help